Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 recipes that are absolutely perfect for spring. So I have some breakfast for you, I have a five ingredient recipe for you, and I have some entrees, so for lunch, dinner, think that, even some salads. So well-rounded spring menu for you. This video is sponsored by Thrive Market, and if you use my link down below, you will save 25% off your first purchase at Thrive Market, and you'll get a free gift, and that is an amazing deal. So make sure you take advantage of that after you watch this video. Now before we get to the recipes, make sure you tap the like button. Liking my channel is super, super helpful to the YouTube algorithm. It just tells them that my videos are good and just reminds them to share them with other people. So thank you in advance for tapping the like button. You know what, no, just, just tap it right now. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, so let's get into our 10 recipes that you definitely, definitely, definitely should be making this spring. So let's start with breakfast because it's my favorite meal of the day, the most important meal of the day, the matcha tahini smoothie slash shake. Now I gotta say, you can really have this any time of day. It's made with matcha, so it has caffeine in it, but it also has tahini and dates and banana, which make it a little bit more filling. So it's not your average matcha or coffee. It's got a little bit more bulk to it. When it comes to breakfast, I actually like to prepare my breakfast in advance so that I can wake up in the morning and just eat something. So these breakfast enchiladas are absolutely perfect. You make them on your day off or when you do your meal prep and you can eat them and enjoy them throughout the week. These breakfast enchiladas are made with tofu and vegetables and topped with salsa. They have so much flavor and they're super, super filling. Now, if you're into sweet breakfasts, you must try my almond flour pancakes. They're 100% gluten-free, and they are made with almond flour and teff flour. They have a lot of flavor. That teff flour gives them like a nutty flavor. They are the bomb. So definitely wanna try them this spring and beyond. Now, my last thing for the breakfast is the avocado toast. You can eat this any time of day though, but breakfast is really special. I love avocado toast. Just make sure you use really good bread, really good avocados, and I like to make it with mushrooms to really turn it into a gourmet avocado toast experience. So make sure you use really nice mushrooms for it as well. Now before we go on with our recipes, let's get back to the Thrive Market. I have my new box here that I just got. I love getting my orders from Thrive Market. It's just so exciting because everything I ordered comes straight to my door and they have amazing organic, non-toxic and sustainable groceries, uh, beauty stuff, home stuff, even baby stuff. So everything that I'm into, they've got it. This week I had to get peppercorns some coconut sugar. Oh, I know I have brown sugar so I can make my chocolate chip cookies. So I love Thrive Market because I order my products on the app. Whenever I think of something that I need, I just quickly put it in the app. And then once my cart has reached $49, which is the amount it should have in it to get free shipping, then I place my order. If you're into saving money, but also eating healthy and also making sure that you buy organic and sustainable products, then you definitely wanna check out Thrive Market. They have a couple of different membership options. Give it a try, see if you like it. Use my code down below. Back to the recipe. So let's see, we did our breakfast. Now let's move on to salad. So I have this amazing white bean salad. I recently shared it on my blog, but I have multiple times shared it here on YouTube. It is so good. It's filling, you can, it's versatile. You can eat it like, sometimes I just have it on toast. Sometimes I have it on top of another salad, like with greens. Sometimes I have it on the side of something. Very versatile, super easy to make. And if you want a big green salad, an entree size salad, because I'm into big, you know, hearty salads, then you definitely wanna try my arugula salad. And for the dressing, I use a grapefruit vinaigrette. Easy to make, whip it up at home. You can put it on any salad, it is the bomb. This doesn't really have its own category. It's not a salad, but it's not a breakfast. It is my cilantro coconut pesto. Y'all, you have to try this, like stop everything and try this. It is so full of flavor. If you like coconut and you like cilantro, you will die in a good way. It is, mm. you can put it on, I put it on my salads, I put it on sandwiches, use it as a dip. 
You must try it. Now, when it comes to entrees, there are plenty that are perfect for spring. Uh, one of my favorite recipes of all times is my sweet potato falafel. So good. You can have them as a salad, sandwich, any way you would eat falafel. I like them with tahini, but I also have a good recipe for a vegan tzatziki sauce. Is that how you pronounce it? Well, it's a good recipe. I will link that down below too, because it is great on the falafel. Let's get to the five ingredient recipe. It is a Mediterranean bowl. It's sort of like a salad, but it's bulked up because it's got chickpeas, it's got olives, tomatoes, even pita in it. And you, you know what? You know what? You could eat that with the sweet potato falafel. I didn't put the, make the connection, but that would be really good together. But it's five ingredients, so if you don't want to bother with falafel or anything else, just whip this together. It's healthy, it's fresh, it's green, it's colorful, perfect for spring. Now, spring is not spring without my beet burgers. Technically, Memorial Day is in spring, and that's when we, you know, that's the unofficial start to summer. That's when we're grilling. That's when we're getting together in the park with our family. And I'm telling you, you are going to want to make these beet black bean burgers. They are perfect for the grill. They are perfect for uh, vegan skeptics, beet skeptics, any skeptic. They, anybody who can eat food will like these. They're delicious. I make them all year round, but they're especially lovely for spring. So you can grill them, air fry them, pan fry them, or bake them, whatever you want to do. Perfect. So those are my 10 recipes that I highly recommend you try this spring. Leave a comment down below and let me know what recipes you want me to try this spring, because I'm all about the spring recipes. I love food. So, you know, seasonal food, it's important. So let me know down below what you think I should be eating this spring. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys will try out Thrive Market if you haven't already. Use my link down below. Remember to get 25% off your first order plus a free gift, so give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the like button. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next week with another video. See you, bye.